In this example, electric city costs per semester at Mount State University are calculated by the formula C equals 0.05x plus 0.03y minus 0.08 times x times y, where x is a measure of student size and activity, y is independent on the uses of various buildings and their efficiencies, and c is in millions of dollars. Determine C if x equals 7 and y equals 9. And next, determine a general formula for dy by dx, which is the rate of change of the y with respect to x. y is independent on the uses. x is the measure of the student size and activity. And evaluate for x equals 7 and y equals 9. For the first part, or part A, then C equals 0 0.05 times x plus 0 0.03 times y minus 0 0.08 times xy. We are going to compute the c at x equals 7, y equals 9 to get 0 0.05 multiplied by 7 plus 0 0.03 multiplied by 9 minus 0 0.08 multiply by 7, multiply by 9, and simplify the number. The first term going to be 0 0.35 plus 0 0.27 minus the 0 0.08 times 7 times 9. is 5.04, and then we're going to add all three numbers together we get negative 4.42. Next part, part B, we are going to determine the general formula for dy by dx and evaluate for x equals 7 and y equals 9. The cost function provided is c equals 0 0.05 times x plus 0 0.03 times y minus 0 0.08 times x times y. Since this is an implicit, implicit function form, and at x equals 7 and y equals 9, the cost turns out to be negative 4.42. So the equation becomes negative 4.42 equals 0 0.05 times x plus 0 0.03 times y minus 0 0.08 times x times y. Use the implicit differentiation to find the derivative. So, implicit differentiation. So the first step, we're going to find the derivative with respect to x to all terms. So d by dx of negative 4.42 on the left equals d by dx of 0 0.05 times x plus d by dx of 0 0.03 times y minus d by dx of 0 0.08 times x times y. The derivative of the constant is 0. Derivative of the x term with respect to x is going to be 0 0.05. The second term is going to be the concept multiple rule and the general power rule apply to find the derivative with respect to x because this term is involving y where we find the derivative with respect to x. And we get 0 0.03 times y means y to the first power apply the general power rule, we need 1 times y to the power 0 times the derivative of the y with respect to x and subtracted by the derivative of the last group, which is in the product form. So I'm going to treat this as the function f and the second part, which is the y, as the function g. That means the f prime, which is the derivative with respect to x of 0 0.08 x going to be 0 0.08, where the g prime going to be the derivative with respect to x of the y. And put in the 
product rule formula. So F times G prime plus the F prime times G. In here, we're going to have the F, which is 0 0.08 times X. The G prime is dy by dx plus the F prime, which is 0 0.08 multiplied by G. And next, we're going to take away the grouping symbol and simplify the expression to be 0 equals 0 0.05. Plus, we call y to the zero power is one. Therefore, the second group here becomes 0 0.03 times dy by dx. And subtracted by 0 0.08 times x times dy by dx. And then subtracted by 0 0.08 times y. The problem asks you to solve for dy by dx. So the uh, second step of the implicit differentiation, we solve for dy by dx. The dy by dx appears over here and over here. We connect the light terms and move the terms at non dy by dx over to the other side to get negative 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 multiplied by y equals 0 0.03 dy by dx minus 0 0.08x dy by dx. And the right-hand side, we just treat them as the common factor dy by dx multiplied by the coefficient uh, combined, so 0 0.03 minus 0 0.08x equals the left-hand side negative 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 times y. Therefore, the dy by dx equals negative 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 times y quantity, all divided by the coefficient of dy by dx on the, on the right-hand side, which is 0 0.03 minus 0 0.08 times x. And we call this problem as you to find dy by dx when x equals 7 and y equals 9. Therefore, dy by dx equals negative 0 0.05 plus 0 0.08 multiplied by y as the, as the value 9 divided by uh, 0 0.03 minus 0 0.08. 8 multiplied by x, which is the value 7, then put in the calculator and get the number out. Then we get the value negative 1.26415.09 and so forth. If you look at the conversion for the fraction form of this number, the calculator can help you look at that term, which is negative 67 over 53. When you see the whole number over the whole number like this, it's easier to explain. Uh, this is the rate of change of the y with respect to x, where 